Hello. So today in this session we are going to see the next sub question that is sub question nine of question number five. In this we have to prove an identity that cos a minus sin a into uh, sec a minus cos a is equals to one upon tan a plus cot a. So we'll try to simplify the LHS first. So LHS. Now we'll write all the terms in terms of sin and cos. So what is cos? Cos is nothing but one upon sin. So cos will be one upon sin minus sin a. Here sec is one upon cos. So in the place of sec we can write one upon cos minus cos a. Now do the cross multiplication. So we'll get one minus sin square a divided by sin a. And here we'll get one minus cos square a divided by cos. Now, as we have already seen an identity that sin square theta plus cos square theta is nothing but equals to 1. So, in the place of 1 minus sin square a, we can write cos square a because cos square theta is nothing but 1 minus sin square theta or sin square theta is 1 minus cos square theta. Here, 1 minus cos square theta that is cos square a will be nothing but sin square a and 1 minus sin square theta is nothing but cos square theta. Theta. So, in the place of this, we can simplify it further that 1 minus sin square is nothing but cos square a divided by cos a into here it will be 1 minus cos square a will be nothing but sin square a divided by cos a. So, one time it will get cancelled here also. So, we will get that cos a into sin a. So, now we will try to simplify RHS and we will try to get this same term in the RHS also. So, RHS is 1 upon tan a plus cot a. So, 1 upon tan a is nothing but sin a upon cos a. And again, we will also write cot in terms of cos and sin. So, it will be cos a by sin a. So, now we will take, we will do the cross multiplication or take the LCM. So, it will be sin square a cos into cos that is cos square a divided by cos a cos a into sin a. So, it will be nothing but 1 upon what is sin square a plus cos square a is nothing but 1 divided by cos a into sin a. So, it will get reciprocal. So, we will get cos a into sin a divided by 1. So, that is nothing but cos a into sin a and that is LHS and RHS both are equal to each other. So, by this we can prove that this identity that LHS equals to RHS. So, in the next session we are going to see the next sub question that is sub question 10. That is the last question of this question number 5. Till then practice all these terms and we will meet in the next session. Thank you.